Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> I'm just, oh, man. Uh, so my name is David Eschel. I'm one of our rabbis here at Wilshire Boulevard Temple, and I'm on the Bima this evening with Cantor Shapiro. And Cantor Shapiro, perhaps you want to introduce our accompanists as well? Yes, I would love to introduce our accompanists. We have Susan Rosenstein, our musical director on the keys. And we have Hope Easton on the cello. And we have Leo Chelyapov. Chelyapov? That works. I got it right. <laughs> no, not right? Chelyapov. That's close enough. <laughs> Leo Chelyapov. Playing uh, some wonderful instruments this evening, evening, some wind instruments, including this magical instrument called the duduk and the flute and the clarinet. Oh, I like where you put the em the emphasis on. Is it is it duduk or is it duduk? Which one is it? Duduk. Duduk. It's neither the ones I said. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I'm learning. It was number three. <sighs> wow, I needed that that opening piece. I need I needed that. I don't know about I don't know about all of you, but this week I was really feeling so much tightness in every breath I was taking. And this Shabbat, I just really need this to let go and for all of us really to, to be here together, whether we're here in person, whether we're uh, joining together virtually. How wonderful it is, how necessary it is for us to be here together as friends, as family, as we welcome in this time of peace, this time of Shabbat. to please light our Shabbat candles as we officially welcome in Shabbat. You know, I've been at home for Shabbat for a little while, and so it felt very strange to bring the microphone over <laughs> to light the candles. Yeah, I use a microphone at home when I light do my you? Shabbat. I do, I do. All right, my we're going to... My kids are always like, ah, but put that thing away. It's, <laughs> this is not karaoke. I feel like you don't need the microphone, Rabbi Eshel. <laughs> We're going to bring this light in. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kedeshanu It's now time to welcome in the Sabbath bride with Lecha Dodi. Oh, no. 
شم مرغ زخور به دیوار خد پیش میان و الهامی و خد زد و نه خد دوش موه خد لشه بودی برد بلی تیلا Shabbat lechu venelecha Ki hi mekor haberacha Merosh mikadam nesucha Sof maase bemachshava Tchilu Lecha daudi Likarat kala Henni shabbat nekadam continue now with the Baruch Hu, our call to prayer. And if you would like, and you're at home, if you would like to rise, you are more than welcome. Or you could even just, you know, sit up a little bit in your chair. Sit up a little bit. My kids are always telling me, Abba, you're slouching at the table. Like I'm sitting, like, like <laughs> sit, sit up. So maybe I was going to, that's what I'll do. I'll think about the Baruch Hu a little bit more while I'm sitting at the table with my kids and sit up a little bit straighter. So if I welcome you to either rise or Sit up a little straighter as we continue with the Baruch Hu, our call to prayer. Oh, oh, oh. 
toward these words of Ahavat Olam, eternal love. It sounds like a really great love song, like a top 40 love song <laughs> in some ways. But it is a top 40 love song between the people Israel and God. And I hope that all of you out there are feeling loved in this moment. And maybe as these words come to you, you can take a moment to feel that love and maybe even to express your love for others. And by doing so, we reflect the love that God shows us. If you were standing at home, you can find your seat now as we settle into more love with the words of Ve'ahavta. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha bechol levavcha ubechol nafshecha ubechol meodecha ve'hayu advarim ha'ele. Asher anochi mitzavecha, hayom al levavecha, veshinantam levanecha, vedibarta baham, beshiftecha bevetecha, uvelechtecha vaderech, uvishochbecha uvekumecha, uksharutam lehot al yadecha, Vehayulatotafot, vene necha, 
Uktavtam al mezuzot beitacha uvisharecha leman tizkeru basitam et kol mitzvotai vitem kedoshim leloichem ani adonai leloichem asher hutzeiti etchem meeret mitzrayim. Liot lachem lelohim, ani Adonai Elohechem. We're going to turn toward Micha Mocha at this time, and we have this really beautiful melody to share with you this evening uh, called Micha Mocha, Walking in the Light. And I wanted to share with you these words uh, that were written by Saul Kay, who set the text of Micha Mocha to this melody. And he says this, he says, this song represents a unification of many parts of my life. I was born in South Africa, and growing up, I listened to the bands Ladysmith Black Mambazo and Jaluka. So the sounds of Zulu always bring me back to my childhood. Blending the Zulu with our tefillah, our song of praise, sung after our holy walk through the sea of reeds, ties together my life journey out of Africa through the world of music and rhythm in the diaspora, and finally back to Judaism. For me, walking in the light of God means being fully present for one another, fully inhabiting joy, laughter, song, as a musical shaliach tzibor and performer, my job is to get out of the way, to let go of my own story for long enough, to have the congregation have a spiritual experience. When I am doing that, we are walking in the light of God together. So the music that you'll hear comes from a Zulu hymn, but we're going to put our words of Michamocha with it. and these words, walking in the light of God. So at home, please feel free to join us. We are walking in the light of God. We are walking in the light of God. We are. 
God. In a moment, we will continue with Hashki Venu. And when I think of this prayer, I always think of actually our summer camps and how at the end of the night, we sit together and wrap our arms around each other, holding each other close, holding each other tight. And I just see that being enveloped, right? When we talk about uh, being enveloped in this sheltering peace, mm -hmm. God's sheltering peace, I think of like a big talit, yeah. right? Just being wrapped. And in connection to that evening, right, at camp, I feel like we have like the talit on our bodies as well, right? And we got our arms, it's like we're wrapping it, and we have the fringes right mm -hmm. here. We've got our spirit fringes, uh, our fingers, <laughs> right? And that when we wrap each other in our own shelter of peace, mm -hmm. it helps to lift us up when maybe we're feeling like we can't lift ourselves up, that we know that we have those people on either side of us really to help lift us up. And uh, I don't know about all of you, but I sure was feeling that way this week. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit, but... Uh, I just want to thank all of you for being here with us. And I feel your warmth. I feel your embrace. I feel your talit holding me up, wrapping us together as we continue with Hashki Venu. Thank you. 
We continue with Vishamru. Vishamru, vende Israel, Shabbat, la asot et ha Shabbat, le dor tamberit olam. Vishamru, vende Israel. Shamru vene Israel, ha Shabbat la asot et ha Shabbat le dorot amerit olam. In a moment, we will continue with the Amida. Uh, and if you are at home, I invite you to please rise or even just sit up a little bit taller in your seats. We will be uh, opening with the introduction to the Amidah and move directly into Tfilat Halev, the prayers, meditations, thoughts, hopes, dreams of our hearts. Adonai.
not going to take the opportunity to think about those in our lives, in our families, our communities, our world who are in need of healing, whether that's mental healing, spiritual healing, or physical healing. From our community specifically today, we remember, we think about Charles Schwartz and Alan Sorodi. We also think of all of those from Congregation Beth Israel in Colleyville. We think of specifically the four who were held hostage, their families. We think of all of us who in some way are hurting at this moment. And I wanna offer a few words that Rabbi Charlie Citrin Walker offered to his congregation and greater community. Words of healing. We are not helpless. We bring healing with band-aids and hugs, a cup of coffee and chicken soup. We are not helpless. We bring healing with a text, a call, a card, a response that says, you are not alone. We are not helpless. We bring healing with acceptance, patience, and understanding for ourselves and for others. We are not helpless. We bring healing with words of compassion and acts of compassion, reaching out with care and love. We are not helpless. We bring healing to heart and mind, body and soul. We bring healing every day, for we are not helpless. We now offer this Mishaberach prayer of healing. I want to share a story about a man named Farmer Mazel. Now, it wasn't necessarily his name, or it wasn't the name he gave himself, but it was the name that uh, all those around him gave him. So one day, Farmer Mazel, like any other day, was going out to put on the harness on his horse in order to help get ready for the plow and start getting to work. And as he was doing something, I don't know what happened, he poked the horse the wrong way and the, the horse got scared. It broke free from the plow and took off, gone. He said, oh man, now what am I gonna do? I had no horse. And when his friends and his family heard about this, they all ran, they gathered around him. They were there with him, for him, and said, oh, Farmer Mazel, what terrible luck you have. And he said, eh, we'll see. The next day, you're not going to believe this. Coming out from the forest, close to where he lives, Farmer Muzzle's horse 
was coming back with him, was coming back, and with him, I had three other horses. All of a sudden, there's these other three other wild horses that met Farmer Muzzle's horses. Hey, why don't you come hang out with us? They all came back. So now, Farmer Muzzle didn't just have one horse, he had four. Now, when Farmer Muzzle's friends and family heard about this, they all ran, they gathered around him, and they were like, oh, Farmer Muzzle, what extraordinary luck you have. And what did he say? Eh, we'll see. Now, Farmer Muzzle's son was very excited about these horses, right? They were wild. So he was like, I'm going to ride one of these. I'm going to get on one of these horses. It's gonna be, this is going to be my horse. It's going to be fabulous. I'm going to get on this horse, tame the horse. It's going to be my horse. So Farmer Muzzle's son gets on one of the horses, and the horse just starts going and launches Farmer Muzzle's son off of him. And he lands on the ground, breaks his leg. He's like, oh, my leg, my leg. And when Farmer Muzzle, he brings his son back to the house, and when all the friends and family hear about this, they all come and they gather around him. And they're like, oh, Farmer Muzzle, what terrible luck you have. And Farmer Muzzle says, well, we'll see. Right? The next day, right? So where Farmer Muzzle was living in his little shtetl area, right, in the greater region, there was a war being waged. And it just so happened that the army of one side was making its way village to village and taking young men with them, right, to come and fight in a war that really had nothing to do with them. And it just so happened that these soldiers came into Farmer Mazel's village because they also knew, oh, Farmer Mazel has a son. And they go to Farmer Mazel's house to get his son, but they see that he's there with his broken leg. So they're like, feh, they leave him, right? And they just keep going. And when Farmer Muzzle's friends and family heard about this, they all come running to be with him, be together. And so, wow, Farmer Muzzle, what amazing luck you have. And he says, eh, we'll see, right? And the story really could go on and on and on. Good luck, bad luck, good luck, bad luck, good luck, bad luck. But the truth is that was, there was no luck. There was nothing to do with luck. Those were just realities of life, all of those things. But what was the one constant? What was the one constant? No matter what, his friends and his family were always there, gathering around him, holding them up holding them up to celebrate and holding them up during times of pain. You know what happened last week? When I heard about it and I started jumping on uh, the social media, yes, I was shocked and surprised, but it was not shocking or surprising. Right? It's different. It's different. Shocked and surprised because it kind of shakes you from your everyday routine. Not shocking and not surprising because I know that there is so much hatred and darkness in our world. It's a truth that we live with every day. Doesn't mean we don't work towards a day, work and pray towards a day where that isn't the case. Of course we continue to work and pray, work and pray. But today's not that day. We're not there. We know that. But you know what else I know? I also know there's a lot of light and a lot of love. I also know that when I hang out with the nursery school kids and they ask such fabulous, deep questions Sometimes it's shocking, 
and surprising what comes out of their mouths, but I am not shocked and I am not surprised. Right? Our families celebrating together bar and bat mitzvah this weekend, last weekend, and so many weekends to come. And what they have to say about their Torah portions. And just as Rabbi Leader says, right, just blossoming like a flower blossoming in front of us. Surprising, shocking, but not surprised and not shocked because of the time that we spend together in the learning and the growing. Right? The light of a wedding couple standing under the chuppah. Spending time with the second graders and their Tubishvat seders, exploring different types of fruits and making the connections about the tree of life and Torah and being rooted in something special and the words that come out of their mouths, surprising, sometimes shocking, but not surprised and not shocked. Because there is also so much light that is also, that is also a truth of this day. There is darkness. There is pain. There is hatred. But there is also love. There is also light. There is also healing. And the way for that to happen is to acknowledge the constant that we're only going to get through it and create that day together. Shabbat Shalom, everyone.
Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. So before we continue, uh, just a few brief announcements. Uh, first, we want to let everyone know that, yes, we do expect to be fully virtual for Friday night services again in the month of Fe February. And But, of course, we are all working and praying that we will be back together as soon as possible. Uh, also, we encourage you every day, check your emails, the daily email, the weekly email from Wilshire Boulevard Temple. It contains schedules for all of our class offerings and all the things that are going on because we definitely have something for everyone. Also, specifically, uh, for Torah study, we have Torah study every week. Friday afternoons at noon, we have Torah study. And then Saturday morning, we have Hevra Torah, another version of our Torah study, Saturdays at 9 a.m. So within the weekly and within the daily, you will see all of the links to those fabulous things. And if you are not uh, getting the emails, please, please, please get in touch with us. Call the temple so we can make sure that we get you on the list so we can send you out the email so you get a, an opportunity to join us for all the fabulous and wonderful things. And uh, also, if you are joining us, for those of you who may not be members and you are interested in membership, please also contact us. We're always uh, open and welcoming to, to new people to join our community. Um, Cantor Shapiro, I'd like to thank you per usual, for just bringing such beautiful, beautiful music. I mean, I don't know how I keep it together through some of those pieces. I got to take a breath. I got to <laughs> take a breath, right? I got to go, all right, keep it together. Eshel, keep it together. So <laughs> thank you for that. Thank, Definitely thank needed it, especially this week. Thank you, Rabbi Eshel. Yeah. It's always really just such a joy to share the Bimo with you. Oh, it's great. Thank you. Uh, and let's thank our accompanists as well. We've got... Susan Rosenstein on the keys. Susan, thank you, as always. Hope he's dead on the chair. Here we go. And Leo Sheliapov on all sorts of wind instruments, including the duduk. Duduk and duduk. I don't know. I just <laughs> threw them all out there, and one of them I'm, I'm sure is going to be right. So <laughs> uh, with that, other than that, I think we are good. Let's continue now with Alenu. So I invite you again, if you would like to... Rise or sit up nice and tall in your seats. We continue with Aleinu. Aleinu le shabeach ladon hakol Latet kidula leotze bereshit Shelo asonu ki goyei harabzot Velo samanu ki mishpechot ha'adama Shelo samchel ki nukahem Cantor Shapiro, you know, I also, how could I forget this? I want to thank also our tech team for making this happen tonight. I want to thank our administrative team for making this happen tonight. And, of course, our maintenance team for making this happen tonight. It doesn't happen without you. So, thank you. We now take the time to think about those in our lives and in our community who have died during this past shloshim, these past 30 days. Steve Asrikin, Ron Berman, Beverly Feinstein, Robert Joseph Flicker, John Harris, Rita Horn, Ken Klenner, Annette Hankin Landau, Stephen Leventhal, Yvette Mimno, Joyce Austin, Rita Rubenstein, Arnold Seidel, Ruth Green Stamler, Soon Lee's son, Steve Tolkien. 
We also remember those who the memorial, the yurt site of their death fell during this past week. Miriam Adler, Amiram Carney, Shirley Bensall, Amy Rose Block, Morris Brooks, Florence Burroughs, Helen Casiado, Tom Carr, Michael Chait, Abe Cohen, Corey Colford, James Butch Colford, Barbara June Cowan, Irvin Deutsch, Leo Eben, Rose Antorno, Frida Feinstein, Irving Finkelstein, Esther Fischler, Yetta Frankel, Fanny Freisleben, Fanny Freisleben, excuse me, Minnie Ethel Friedberg, Regina Friedman, Robert Friedman, Herman Gardner, Abra Glazer, Martin Glotzer, Lawrence Goldbacher, Nathan Goldberg, Carl Goldenberg, Eva Greenfield, Marvin Green, Roberto Grimberg, Edward Gurney, Alvin Hamburger, Sidney Harris, Margaret Hartnett, Jane Hirsch, Harold Hoffenberg, Myrna Horn, Marvin Howard, Gertrude Kaplan, Morris Kaplan, Orna Kaplan, Sidney Leonard Kaplan, Howard Kaufman, Marianne Koplov, Jeffrey Kraut, Sarah Kraut, Anna Lederer, Louis Leon, Max Levin, Samuel Levy, Joseph Lubin, Benjamin Maltz, Sidney Matorin, Erwin Michelson, Eunice Michelson, Arnold Mittler, Alexander Nash, Machiko Nickerson, Mata Einhorn Pearl, Bernard Flug, Alice, Alice Pollitt, William Price, Rona Bierman Pullman, Lillian Rappaport, Ella Reese, Myra Reifman, Selma Reinstein, Anita Reifold, Harry Rex, Patricia Oppenheim Levin Rice, Martin Henry Ross, Margot Rothstein, Rolla Rubin, Judy Rudman, Javier Salinas, Stuart Schillig, Henry Seidman, David Schaefer, Lillian Shamist, Ella Sherman, Leroy Solomon, Regina Solomon, Raymond Stanley Spiro, Marilyn Sprug, Bruce Stark, Jerome Steyer, Hayward Tampkin, Florence Victor, Burton Wolner, Adele Weinstein, David Yarmus, Alan Ziegler. We also add to those names all of those who have died defending the United States of America. We add to those names all of those who have died defending the state of Israel. We also add to those names all of those who have died the senseless acts of terror around the world. We add to those names all of those who have died from COVID-19. We add to those names all those who have no one to say the mourner's Kaddish for them. And finally, if you are thinking of anyone else today, or if I have mispronounced a name that you know of, please say those names now in your hearts. And with that, we continue with the Mourner's Kaddish. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shemei rabah, ve'oma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei, v'chayechon u'v'yomechon u'v'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael, v'agala u'v'izman kari v'imru amen. יהי שמי רבה מבורך לעולם עומל מאיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתעלל שמי דקודשה בריכו. לאלל מן כל ברכתה ושירתה. תוש בחתה ונחמתה. דאמירן באומה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן.
Shalom, everyone. We'll continue with Kiddush. Here we go. And we raise our glasses. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Borei peri ha'gafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'ratav anu. Vishabbat kodsho b'yahavah v'ratzon in chilanu Zikaron l'mahasei v'reishit Ki hu yom t'chilo l'mikrei kodesh Zeichel hitziyat mitzrayim Ki va Ve'otanu kidashta mikol ha'ayim Ve'shabat kodshecha ve'ahava u'v'ratzon Hinchaltanu baruch ata Adonai Shabbat Amen. Oh, this is complicated. There you go. You got this. You got this. Fabulous. All right, here we go. We got the mochi. We got the mochi. Ta-da! 